food here is not spicy so it's actually really good for breakfast yeah durian coffee durian coffee that's very interesting so good so good and he said you smell like durian and i'm like what i had durian yeah you're right but that was like two hours ago and he said you still smell like durian good morning ladies and gentlemen from kuala Lumpur, malaysia today i am here in bukit pintang again i think this is my second time here in Bukit Bintang and today I'm going to try some Malaysian food and the first one is going to be nasi lemak I found uh, this nasi lemak place here in Bukit Bintang so let's go uh, it's 11 in the morning and already a lot of cars and quite a lot of pedestrians over here all right here we are this is the place i found on google maps and i thought it was 11 in the morning but it's actually 10 30 in the morning there are already a lot of people so let's go for this today they have the rice inside here in a wooden bucket i would say is that for me or for him oh for me oh that's for me okay uh can i get one egg and something that you recommend but something not spicy not spicy not spicy chicken rendang chicken rendang okay chicken rendang any part any part oh yeah any part it's fine leg or Appetite? Is it okay? Okay, appetite. Good. And what else? How about the nuts? Okay, nuts. Some nuts. And anchovies? Anchovies, yeah. And yeah. I'll get an egg. Huh? One egg? Yeah, please. Yeah. Cucumber. Cucumber. And a bit of the sauce. Is it okay? Uh, just a bit. Is it spicy? Oh yeah, Not too okay. Spicy. Okay, just a little bit. Alright. Is it sambal? Okay. Yes, sambal. Uh, sambal, okay. So a bit of the rendang, also oh, yeah. rendang gravy. Rendang gravy. Yep. Uh, oh, thank you. Okay. Sorry. Okay. 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 So here is my uh, nasi lemak, one egg, uh, one chicken rendang with some nuts, anchovies, an egg, cucumbers, and some sambal sauce. And she said it's not too spicy, so I'm gonna try. And this is uh, 10 ringgit for all this. Right, let's try the rice first. Mm. The rice is quite salty. It's not just a plain rice. And this chicken rendang. Oops. I broke the uh, fork already. With some rendang gravy. Mmm. Oh, the chicken is very well marinated. Wow. Okay, not so. It's a little spicy, but not too bad. Mmm. Some nuts and anchovies over here. No, this is just a, just a regular nuts and anchovies. 
All right, let's go for the egg. God, the fork is so weak. Broke it. I'm gonna have to eat with my spoon. Egg. Mm. With some sambal sauce. Oh, this sambal sauce is not not so spicy. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Good for me. Mm. The food here is not spicy, so it's actually really good for breakfast. Yeah. If you are someone who cannot eat spicy food like me, this is the place to come. Alright, that was a good meal and I've actually ordered an iced tea so let's try this one sweet I, I asked the lady to make it sweet a very good sweet tea some people wouldn't understand you know having an iced tea but it's really good for me Um, I found a durian place nearby, so that's where I'm headed right now. Let's go for durians. Here we are, Durian BB Park. I think BB stands for Bukit Bintang, I guess. Oh, I can already smell durian, wow. Get inside and durian here. Wow, a lot of people inside. All kinds of durians. Musang King Hulu. One person. Okay, one person. So, you want to eat some? Uh, can I look around okay, first? Okay. okay, thank you. And here they have the durian samplers, I think. Uh -huh. here if you want a full you know durian then you can buy one from here ah, masters cutting the durian and there is a little gift shop durian gift shop Mm-hmm. A lot of uh, durian products. That durian cake, durian um, cake, durian coffee, durian coffee. That's very interesting. More durian souvenirs. I think I'll go for the durian samplers over here. Hello. Yes, uh, do I have to buy one yeah. whole thing? Ah, okay. And the whole plate is 89? Yeah. This All the same? No, this is Blackthorn. Blackthorn. Yeah, so and how much? Like it's 109 yeah. with the Blackthorn. Mm. Because Blackthorn is the best one? Uh, it's expensive. It's expensive. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow, that's... Uh, okay, fine. I'll have one. Okay. One row. 
A lot of people are here for durians, wow. All right, already here we have the durian platter. For this platter, you have to eat from the prime. This is the prime. Okay, start from the prime. Yeah. Prime. And then second is red flesh. IOI. You call it IOI. Because IOI. It's D101. Ah, 101. Yeah. Okay. And then it's XO. XO. And black corn. Black corn. And the last is Musan King. Musan King. This is the sweetest or? The strongest taste. Strongest flavor and yes. then and weakest. The weakest. Uh, yeah. And is it more expensive this way? Uh, no. Oh, it's not like that. Depends. Yeah. Aha, okay. Wow. And I pay now or what? Uh, later. Later, okay. And this is for free? Yes. Oh, okay. You get a free water as well? Yeah. So she told me to start with the prime. So let's go for the prime first. Prime durian. Ta-da! Mmm. Oh yes, I love it. Very sweet. This is the part for you to pay me there. Mm? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow. I think the prime one is the least expensive one. And still very sweet. Very flavorful. Mmm. Okay, next. The red flesh. Red flesh durian. As you can see, this one is actually really... This one is um, more red than others. I'm not sure if you can see through the camera. But it is actually a little more red. And that's why it's called the red flesh. And let's go. Mm. Mm. Oh, I think this one has more, it has more flavor to it, but it's a little less sweet. The prime one is sweeter. But flavor-wise, this is more flavor, has more flavor. Mm. So good. So good. Right, the next one. XO. XO. Oh, very sweet, but this one, I think, is a little bitter. It has a bitter flavor to it. X XO. Mm. Now, I understand why there are a lot of people here. These are really nice. They treat good durians. And we have the black thorn. This is the expensive one, I think. And this one also is a little more red compared to others. Um, Musan King and XO and uh, Prime. And this one and the red, where is it? the red flesh. The red flesh and black thorn are a little more red. Let's try. Mm. Wow, this is very, very sweet. I think this is definitely uh, sweeter than others, but flavor-wise, it has like less durian flavor. Less like gassy flavor, I would say. But it is, it is more sugary than others. Mm. And 
then finally we have the Musang King. Musang King. This one is very yellow. A very bright yellow color. Mm, there's a lot of flesh to it. Wow. This one is Oh, it's very bitter actually. It's sweet but quite bitter compared to the others. Mm. And there's a lot of flesh to it. Wow, definitely definitely bitter. Wow. Still nice. Here are my durians destroyed. Musan King was a bit bitter for me, but the rest were really nice, sweet, and um, they keep the durians cold here in the fridge, which makes it better. And uh, I know that there are a lot of people who don't like durians, but I just love durians. The best fruit in the world, wow. So creamy, so sweet. And even though this is an open area, they have a lot of, of fans under the shade. So it's, this place is not hot at all. Like I don't sweat here. Very good. And there is more souvenir place here. Durian clothes, hats. Uh -huh. Bags. Things like that. Oh. Okay, Durian BB Park that was. And 109 ringgit for a durian platter. Durians kept cold, nice. And I think it's a little pricey actually, but durian is an expensive fruit, so I understand that. And let's go for the next meal. Uh, I found this place on Google Maps near um, KL Central Station, near the hotel I'm staying at. And this place does Malay Chinese food. Anyways, I want something that's not spicy. I've been eating uh, spicy food lately too much. The biryani and you know the uh, sambal sauce from nasi lemak, stuff like that. My stomach's been hurting for days. Uh, it's not a severe problem, but it just doesn't feel good. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't feel right. So I'm going to have Malay Chinese food today something not spicy let's go all right here we are i think this is the place oh they even have a parking space 50 meters ahead okay i'll have this one uh cha ku tiao yes one please no spicy no spicy Here is my charcoal tiao. And this is the one uh, actually my, one of the taxi driver has recommended me to, to try. And I've asked the lady to make it not spicy. So hopefully that is not spicy. Let's try. See some shrimps in there. Some fried eggs. With the, with the noodles, with some uh, bean sprouts in there. Oh, it's hot. And with some chives as well. Let's try. Oh, it's hot. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Wow, I 
like the texture of the noodle. is fresh and so I think it's got soy sauce and maybe maybe oyster sauce Bean sprout is still crunchy. And thank God it's not spicy. I understand why the taxi driver has recommended this food. It's nice. Alright, that's my meal done and I actually had 100 plus as well So let's see how much that was Excuse me, how much was it? 11.50 11.50? Yes So, uh, 11 ringgit 50 cents for one Charku Tiao and one uh, can of 100 plus. Good, that was not spicy. And uh, I am going for the next meal. And actually, this is the next day. As you can see, my clothes have changed and uh, I'll tell you a funny story guys so yesterday I had nasi rimak and um, um, durian then after having my meal I you know looked around the town uh, I went to the shopping mall I had a cup of coffee you know I think that took about an hour and a half maybe uh, for more than an hour for sure and then to get to the hotel to get back to the hotel i took a taxi and then i got into the taxi and all of a sudden the taxi driver said do you like durian and i said yeah how do, how do you know that and he said you smell like durian and i'm like what i had durian yeah you're right but that was like two hours ago and he said you still smell like durian so that was a funny story Here we are. This is what I'm going to have for my next meal. A Cheng Laksa. I think this is a chain restaurant. So let's get inside. Let's sit all the way down here. This restaurant you have to order at the front over here. Hi. Hi. Uh, can I have one tan mee tan soup, soup one. and one te susu? Ice or cold? Ice, please. Ice. What? What is susu? Milk. Milk. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So milk tea. Ah, okay. Okay. So you order the food at the front. You pay there, and you get this uh, number over here. You put it on the table and the staff here will bring the food for you. Here is my pan mi soup and my uh, te susu, which means milk uh, tea, iced te susu. And I ordered this pan mi soup because I wanted to have some kind of clear broth. So as you can see, it has noodles, some vegetables and anchovies and I think that is P 
pieces of beef, I think. So let's try. Let's try the soup first. Oh, very thick um, anchovy flavor. This is a very, this is a very familiar flavor to me actually. Uh, we have this food called uh, kalguksu in Korea. And it tastes like anchovy kalguksu soup. A very similar actually. Oh. Wow. Even the texture of the noodles is exactly like kalguksu in Korea. Wow. It feels like I'm having Korean food actually. Mm. Very deep anchovy flavor. It's really good. Wow. Let's have some tea next. Mm, this is just a typical milk tea. Very sweet, nice. Here's my meal finished. And that really felt like having Korean food in Korea, which was a good experience. And uh, I'm gonna end my video here today. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye bye.